as soon as I see him laying there, I know that this is my biggest whitetail. That big whitetail buck bedded right back down where we had initially seen him. He disappeared and I marked his position really well. We drive all the way back around so that we can come in from the upwind side and I've got a pretty good idea of exactly where this buck was the last time I saw him. Me and my cameraman go ahead and put the stalker decoys on the bows again. But this time we take the new antlers from Ultimate Predator gear that go on the stalker decoys and we mount them to my cameraman's decoy. And my whole thought is, if I can draw that buck out of the weed bed, I want him to focus on my cameraman and not me. We're gonna come in from the north, have a nice northwest wind, see if we can't put these decoys to use and see if they'll buy us an extra few seconds to get a shot at one of these big bucks. When we're getting closer to this weed bed, we slow down and start slipping in as slow and quietly as possible. There was one little darker patch of weeds that I had landmarked on this buck. We were gonna kneel down right there about 40 yards from where we thought the buck was. So I go ahead and give a couple of soft grunts and nothing really happened. And on about that third grunt, all of a sudden I heard a grunt back and it's right there, right in front of us. Right after I hear the grunt, up pops a rack. And I can tell that this buck is standing all the way upright and he is looking around trying to see above the weeds. I start ranging, trying to figure out how far every different opening might be. And as far as I can tell, that buck's about 30 yards from us. I reach down, grab the grunt again. And I give him a little bit more aggressive grunt. He starts whipping his head around again and all of a sudden he gives me a little snort wheeze. Just a really light one, but that's an aggressive call and I knew he was getting irritated. The next thing you know, weeds start flying and you can see antlers flipping back and forth and weeds flying around and I was like, oh, he's getting really upset now. So I give him another grunt. That causes him to walk about five yards toward us. All of a sudden I can see his face. He can see both decoys. I can tell he's mad. And I slowly reach down and get that grunt call while I'm hiding behind that stalker decoy and give him one more grunt right there while he's looking right in our eyeballs. That was all he could take. happened is he looked up out of that brush and saw this buck with this doe and came over he was going to run this buck off and uh, I, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch but I think we've got a really really good buck on the ground. Oh, oh my gosh look at that deer as soon as I see him laying there, I know that this is my biggest whitetail. <laughs> and we've just taken him on a public land, do-it-yourself hunt. And the satisfaction of taking an animal like that on that style of hunt is something that I can't even describe.